Hey boys, welcome back to some more Kalen Ponga career mode. We are uh, round two of the Auckland Nines here, and yeah, we'll get straight into it. I um, there is actually out of the blue, there's been a new patch for Regular League Live Four, which I I didn't even know about, and then I well, I'm making this video. What is it, bloody? I can't even think of the day. It's it's. Thursday night I'm making this video um, and yeah the the video I think the rugby league video I uploaded Thursday uh, people were commenting about the new patch asking me what's up with it and I didn't even know about the patch but I went on the big end forums and apparently there is a patch so I'm not exactly sure what it is I think I think like I read through it and there are a few like fixes and stability improvements, but one of the big ones was actually like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the roster, the roster has been updated, um, for the teams. So that, <laughs> that's honestly, it's, it's good. And I'm very keen to actually, um, download the, the update to see, you know, what else is there, but it's annoying at the same time because I just literally started the Broncos, um, career mode and I just started the Caleb Ponga career mode. Now the probably once I downloaded is right here. This is a fantastic kick. I couldn't believe it wasn't a 40 20 and I don't know, it was pretty close. But um I will probably when I download the uh the patch, I'll probably restart the Caleb Ponga career mode just because yeah, I've only done the nine so far, so I can just simulate through the through the nines, get into the, the proper season, which will be good. The Broncos career mode it <sighs> I don't know, I'm sort of like, am I going to restart the Broncos career mode? I might, because it would be better to have like the proper teams and like the proper feeder club players and everything. So I might end up doing that and then I'll just either, yeah, I don't know. I might might either simulate or just like play through as uh, Brett Morris breaks through a tackle and then the tangle tap drive saver, Sione Mataudia, brilliant work. But uh, unfortunately, on the back of it, no, it's not. I thought Kieran Foran was just going to barrel his way over, but uh, we just stood in the way. And, uh, you know, Kalen Ponger, he's been, his defensive aspect has been unreal in uh, in real life this year. Obviously, that was probably the, the, the biggest sort of talking point for Ponger was how is he going to handle fullback, um, you know, full time? Because he is, you know, he's a young player. He's not the biggest guy. But, I mean, he's been tough, like... I just look back to the um the Yawate try saver. That's probably the best try saver I've ever seen. Um, it was amazing. But um, yeah, I mean he, he did headbutt him, but <laughs> it was it was such good. And it, I mean he's done so many others, just like being under the ball. So yeah, his, his toughness has definitely um stood up uh, in real life this year, and he just looks so good. And so it's so good that he's he's pledged his allegiance to uh. To Queensland, he's done the right thing, the young fella. So that'll be that'll be exciting, um, you know, because uh, obviously, I mean, we still got fullback options, but you know, we're gonna need to use some new guys or young guys soon. I mean, Billy Slater's, you know, maybe a year left, maybe two. Darius Boyd um, hasn't really been playing that well anyway. But right here, we are going to get on the scoreboard with a beautiful. Uh, Beautiful little offload there from our player or our teammate here. Just, um, well, he actually offloaded and then a nice little pass back to us. Um, I think from maybe Connor Watson and, you know, a bit of a hole up the ruck where the initial break was made and uh, a nice simple try is unfortunately Pierce is still kicking the conversions. I wish we were goal kicking, but that's, uh, you know, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Hopefully when we upgrade our stats a little bit, we can pump him into the sort of the kicking area where we can maybe overtake Pierce but maybe not we'll we'll see but yeah a good uh, good first half we did get the one bonus try which is always nice and we're looking we're looking dangerous a couple of, we did you know nice try saving tackle uh, a couple of nice runs but obviously you know we're we're conditioned so shouldn't expect too much attacking footy as it is now but yeah going back to the um the update, yeah. If only, if only it came out at the start of the year, dude. But yeah, you know that's that's fine. It's still good. Like honestly, I'm shocked that they actually um, updated it. Like I, I 
I was actually shocked that they did. I thought that was pretty much done and dusted, Rugby League Live 4. As uh, unfortunately right here, I was trying to get up in the face uh, to shut the play down. But uh, who was it? Kieran Foran. He just got the pass away to Raymond Fatala Mariner. Uh, I think he sort of knocked it on, but then he caught it again. And unfortunately, our teammate just uh, couldn't make the tackle. And uh, the doggies are going to score pretty much straight away from uh, the halftime break. But we still have that one-point lead with the bonus try, which is nice. As I uh, look to put on the afterburners there, <laughs> almost saw the hole in the defensive line, but uh, it was shut down pretty quickly there by the by the Bullocks teammate. Is right here, just giving the ball over. Ah, that's such a bad start. The second half has started terribly. Conceded an early try, and then on the back of that, we're just going to give the possession over as Josh Jackson gets pretty close to the try line and I'm uh, just going to spread it out to Kieran Foran here pushing and he's going to just burrow his way over the try line no one came in to help our young fellow Kalen Ponga oh that's that's frustrating dude that's frustrating we made a nice tackle we just needed a couple of guys to come in and wrap him up turn him over but didn't happen and all of a sudden all of a sudden, the dogs are going to take the lead. And by just going to miss a conversion, which is nice. But 10-7 now. And, uh, yeah, haven't really touched the ball in this second half. Uh, but beautiful little outside inside play there. Beats the fullback. Just couldn't quite get into the backfield. It was a good scramble by the front line to to wrap us up. Otherwise, that was a, that was a try. That was a beautiful little set piece. Um, beat the fullback and everything. But uh, they, uh, they just got hold of me as... Smith, I don't know who this is, but Smith is going to streak down the sideline. We completely missed him. Thankfully, I think it might be Nathan Ross made the tackle as uh, Aaron Woods is going to get held up there with uh, last tackle. Still, you know, still four minutes to go in this game. We got time as uh, the kick goes up. Should be, uh, it's batted down to Hopawade, and Hopawade is going to drive his way over the try line from like five meters out. I couldn't believe this. I was trying to get over there to make the tackle, but I, I don't know. He just didn't do it. Um, and Hopawade, just the power, just it just burst through like five meters out. Man, oh man, we've, um, you know, we played poorly in the second half as uh, another misconversion that's pretty much Moses Embiid's kicking to a, to a tee right there is... Sione, a uh, nice little line break, gets it back to us, through, could have kept going ourselves, but gives it off to, uh, it might be Ken Seo, you know, we maybe if we went ourselves, we could have got to the try line, but dished it off unselfishly, as uh, I think it was Aaron Woods that chased him down, which is the most frustrating part, Aaron Woods is not going to chase down anybody, give me a Give me a break. But it's a beautiful little pass back on the inside to us. Breaks through of a tackle. We just can't get to the try line. Could have almost got the pass away to uh, to the number six as the kick goes up here. It's a good kick. But uh, it's going to be Smith, the big fella. I don't know who he is, but uh, he takes a nice catch there. And unfortunately, the time is ticking away here. It is last tackle. We're going to get one chance to get a bonus try. Um, and a uh, good pass there to us, actually. Puts in the little chip and chase, but it's just a little to the right. And the Bulldogs' defense is there to wrap us up. So we're going to go down by seven points. You know, the boys made too many errors in that second half. Shot ourselves in the foot. Um, but yeah, we still had a solid game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like, and I'll see you in the next one.